All right, welcome to the lab equipment and safety guidelines video. Okay, lab safety is very important. I don't want anyone getting hurt in this class. All right, so your lab handout contract, which hopefully you've received by now. So in addition to this video, you will also receive a lab safety handout or contract that goes over lab equipment in the rules and guidelines observed during chemistry lab. Okay, so please take it home and have it signed to verify that you acknowledge and accept these rules and guidelines. Okay, have this handout with you as you watch the video. Okay, this contract is due by Friday. All right, so I will be collecting it on Friday. All right, chemistry lab equipment. Okay. Feel free to pause this anytime. All right, we're going to go over the equipment that we're going to use in chemistry lab. Okay, so we have a ring stand, an iron ring, a clamp, all right, a beaker, a Bunsen burner. I'm sure many of these you have worked with or seen before. Okay, a flask, a graduated cylinder, test tubes, evaporating dish, mortar and pistol. Okay, a test tube rack to hold test tubes there, a spatula and scupula. Okay, safety glasses, something you'll be using in pretty much every lab. Tongs to pick up hot stuff. Okay, crucible and cover. Pipette and bulb. And a hot plate. Okay, so make sure you know the names of the of all the lab equipment okay because you will be quizzed and assessed on these things later okay so moving on here lab safety rules and expectations okay make sure you know where each of the following pieces of lab safety equipment are okay in the classroom so the fire extinguisher and fire blanket okay both of these are used to extinguish a fire all right the first aid kit the eye wash, okay? The eye wash is used to wash harmful chemicals from your eyes, okay? So the shower, also used to extinguish a fire, okay? And the fume hood directs and pulls air into the hood so you do not inhale toxic fumes. So this is the fume hood, okay? We may or may not be working with it, but if we work with really toxic chemicals, it will pull air into it, okay? So you do not inhale toxic fumes okay notice here's the eye wash and shower all right the eye wash is to be used in case you get something in your eyes well safety glasses if you wear them on every lab you never really have to worry about that okay so lab safety rules and expectations always read the lab procedure first before starting the lab and be sure to notice any safety precautions mentioned in the lab okay do not read the procedure as you perform the lab. Read the procedure, okay, first before you start the lab, okay? Three, it is a law that students wear safety goggles or glasses in the lab to protect your eyes, okay? So make sure you're wearing your safety glasses, all right? So remove any bulky clothing. Pull back long sleeves that may get tangled up in glassware or knock over chemicals, okay? So step five. Here, tie back long hair so that it does not come close to open flames or chemicals, okay? Six, read the labels on all chemical bottles, okay, before using them. Don't just start pouring stuff. Make sure you know what you're pouring, okay, or using, all right? So, if glass is broken, clean and sweep it up immediately. Do not touch broken glass and place all broken pieces in the garbage okay so it is your responsibility to clean up broken glass all right eight always wash your hands after every lab okay and nine make sure all chemicals and lab equipment are put back properly and your lab station is wiped down and clean okay so two very important things you need to do after every lab wash your hands okay make sure everything's put back properly and your lab station is wiped down and clean okay so lab safety rules and expectations continued here never eat or drink in the lab okay 
Never taste, touch, or smell chemicals in the lab unless you're told to do otherwise. Okay. When smelling chemicals, never smell them directly. Always use a wafting technique. Okay, a wafting technique. So that means you take your hand, okay, and you direct the air towards your nose. Okay, do not smell them directly. Okay, this is incorrect. This is the correct technique. Okay. So when handling acids and bases, okay, use caution and common sense. Always use a funnel. Okay when pouring acids. So when diluting acids and bases, always add water to them. Do not add acid to the water. Okay, add water to the acid. Okay, strong acids and bases should always be handled in the fume hood. So you do not inhale them. Okay, so 14. When lighting a Bunsen burner, there is a procedure. Okay, so Make sure all tubing is secure and attached. Okay, very important. Bring a lit match from the base of the Bunsen burner, from the bottom of the Bunsen burner up to, okay, the barrel of the Bunsen burner. Okay, carefully hold the match, okay, just above the mouth, okay, of the Bunsen burner near the outer edge or lip of the opening. Okay, just right on the edge. Don't put it in the middle, okay, put it right on the edge, okay, adjust the amount of gas and oxygen to obtain a nice blue flame. Here's what you want. You want a nice inner bl blue flame here surrounded by an outer lighter blue flame, okay, but you really want that nice triangle flame right in the middle, okay. So keep adjusting the oxygen. You can turn these, okay, and the gas content to get this nice blue flame. Sometimes it just takes a while, okay? It takes me a while sometimes too. So in case the flame goes out, turn off the gas valve and start the process over again, okay? So always put used matches in the sink, okay? So when heating a test tube over a Bunsen burner, make sure the mouth or opening of the tube is pointed and directed away from you and other students, okay? One of the most dangerous mishaps that can occur in a chemistry lab is right here. Do not point the mouth of the test tube toward you or other people. Point it away, okay, from you and other people. In case it splashes over, okay, it doesn't shoot at uh, another student or yourself, okay? So, 16, never experiment on your own. Some of these are just common sense, okay? In case of any accident, spill, or injury, immediately notify me, the teacher, okay? Never run, push, or engage in any horseplay in the lab, okay? So, do not goof off, okay? You will be consequences. So, failure to follow these expectations will have consequences, which may result in a score of zero on the lab. You're sent back to your desk during the lab or up to the office, or even sent outside, counseled, and given a possible referral. Okay, so don't goof off in lab. Take it seriously. Okay? All right. So this concludes the lab safety video. When you are done, okay, begin the day one quiz that covers this uh, lab safety rules video and the video syllabus you hopefully have already watched. So you are allowed to use the day one assignment for help and any other handouts you have received for the quiz. Okay? Don't forget to post your results to adobe.com and take a picture of your score as proof. Okay? All right. We'll see you next time.